Hello and welcome to another quick training tutorial. Now in this training tutorial, I'm going to give you a brief walkthrough of our new feature, which I call it the Credit Repair Organization Act Disclosures. Now the Credit Repair Organization Act is a law that regulates credit repair companies throughout the United States. This law states that before you render any service for any type of customer, you have to give them certain disclosures. And one of these disclosures is, and one of the most important disclosures is what we call the consumer credit file rights under the state and federal law. This is a disclosure that the customer must sign, okay, and you must retain this disclosure up for up to two years. Also, CROA says that you must send this disclosure separately from your agreement. And the only way your customer will be able to get this disclosure is if you send them through the client auto sign up process. So whenever you send them the contract, that's when they will see the disclosure. If you are offline and if you have a brick and mortar office and your customers are standing in front of you, then you will physically hand them the disclosure. They would sign it that, that they received it and you would also give them the contract. But if you are signing them up online, the only way you can send it to them is through the client auto sign up process. Okay. You can also resend it to them also once they go through the client auto sign up process. You can also use the, the, the lead forms on your website and the customer signs up that way. They will also go through the client auto sign up process. Okay, so let me show you what your customer will see when they go through the process. So let's go ahead and click on customers and let's go to no portal access. And let's go ahead and click on send email from here. And let's find a contract. Let's click on, no, not that one. Let's send this one here. All right. So let's go to our email. This is our customer. Let's click check for new emails. So as you can see, our customer here, Bobby, received the document review. So this is normal as if the customer was signing up for the first time and this customer was going through your contract. So let's click on document review. All right. This is the welcome. Let's click on next. And this is the consumer disclosure. Now this is the digital signature disclosure contract. This is not the CROA disclosure contract yet. So let's go and click on agree and let's click on proceed. All right, so this is the consumer credit file rights disclosure. Now this is the disclosure your consumers must read, your customers must read. And then as you can see, their name is here already and then they will sign. Okay, let's click here. Now once they click submit, it says processing your request, please do not close the browser. So what we just did is we sent the contract, a copy of the disclosure, directly to the consumer's email. Now let me show you what it looks like. Let's go over here and let's go ahead and click on check new mail. And as you can see, this is the disclosure that your consumer or your customer will receive. This is the disclosure agreement right here. And this is pretty much Hello Bobby. Thank you for signing the consumer credit file rights disclosure. Attached to this email is your copy. If you have any questions pertaining to the disclosure, please contact our office. All right, so what we just did, we just automated this entire process. So now the consumer has the disclosure, okay? And they can download this and save it for their records. Now let's go back to the software and let's go ahead and go to settings and let's go to digital contracts and now I'm going to show you exactly where you can see this disclosure also. And let's scroll down. All right, as you can see right here, this is the disclosure. View consumer credit file rights disclosure. So this is the disclosure that your customer just signed. Let's click that. And as you can see, it's right here. Okay. So now what you can do is that you can print this disclosure for your records you can download this disclosure for your records. It's right here. It will always be in the software as long as you are a software member. Now, say for example, the consumer did not get the disclosure. You can quickly just resend them the disclosure by clicking right here, okay? You can also check your view status to see if the disclosure was checked, right? So say you're looking at uh, the agreement tracking status and you wanna make sure that the consumer signed this. So you can just check right here. As you can see, it has a check mark here. All right, we didn't sign the contract. We didn't do any of this other stuff because we didn't go through the client auto sign up process because the purpose of this video 
is to show you the disclosure. So as you can see, I did sign it and it shows you there. Okay, let's go back to the dashboard and let's go to no portal access and let's click here. And again, you see, you can see right here that I also signed this. Okay, all right. Now let me show you how you can turn this off. Now say for example, you don't want the consumer to go and see that disclosure agreement and you want to turn it off. So all you need to do is go to settings and let's go to client auto sign up. And right here is the disclosure process on and off. So all you have to do is simply turn it off. And so now when the customer goes through your contract, the client auto sign up process, they will not see the disclosure. Now you can also preview it by clicking on here and you can preview the disclosure and see what it looks like. Now you cannot edit this disclosure because this is a form from Croa. All right, this is a disclosure. These, this is everything you need. Okay, you cannot edit this at all because Crow is saying that you need to send them this exact disclosure. Okay. All right, you can also modify the email text that you send the customer. Let's go here to manage email, and let's scroll down. And right here is the email. So when the customer gets the email, the disclosure email, not the contract email. But the disclosure email, you can also edit that right here, as you can see. Okay. Now, although we do have the disclosure, the same disclosure agreement in our digital contracts already, we do have it in the digital contracts. Um, you can leave it there as a backup, right? But again, Crow says that you have to send it separately to the consumer. Now, there's one more. Um, there's one more set of documents that CROA is requiring that all credit repair companies send separately from the disclosure and from the contract itself, which is the right to cancel. Okay, the right to cancel. Now we're working on that feature. That should be um, coming soon. So basically the consumer will also get the right to cancel document along with the contracts when that feature becomes available. So right now we have the disclosure agreement that's going out to your consumer automatically. And then pretty soon in the future, we're gonna have the right to cancel going out to them automatically while you sleep too. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this quick training tutorial. Again, that's our new feature, which is called the Credit Repair Organization Act Disclosure Agreement.